this video, I will show you how to set up a switchblade for the first time by giving names to the inputs and outputs, then show you how to create a preset with a single effect placed between a guitar and an amp. Although I'll demonstrate this on Switchblade 8F, the steps are identical across our entire Switchblade family. When first using the unit, names must be given to all the inputs and outputs, as all presets are created using names only. This only has to be done once when connecting effects to the Switchblade. To access the naming menu, press the menu button, then move the cursor over one, press the menu again, which brings you to the names menu. Using the up or down button, you can scroll through all the inputs and all the outputs to give names to each of the inputs and outputs. I've already named a few of these to save time, but you can use the up and down button with the cursor under the lower left to change names uh, or add names to inputs and outputs. When you've finished adding names, then press the menu button repeatedly until you get back into the play mode, indicated by the green LED, where you can then scroll to the preset you wish to program. Here I'll select preset 1, then press the menu button, move right through the selection tree and the naming menu until I get to the patching menu where you will be doing most of your work. From here, you will create the connections that make up the preset and set the gains of those connections. The upper left hand corner shows the source of the audio and at the moment I have guitar displayed and in the upper right is where you want the signal to go. For this preset I want to connect the guitar to the overdrive and the overdrive to the amp. At the moment the guitar and amp are displayed but there's no actual connection between these two as the word off is displayed on the bottom indicating that this pair has no connection. I therefore want to scroll to a device that I do want to connect to, move the cursor down and press the up button to display something other than off since displaying any gain at all makes the connection in that preset. And then you can move on to creating the next connection. I will now move the cursor under the source and this time I'll display the overdrive and I want to finish up by going to the amp, moving the cursor to the bottom and bring the gain up to create the second connection from the overdrive to the amp. I can now review what I've just done by pressing and holding the cursor until the review menu comes up and press the up button or down button to display what I've created. Here you can see I have the guitar going to the overdrive at 0 dB and the overdrive going to the amp to complete the connection also at 0 dB. Press the cursor button again to get out of the review mode, press the menu button to get back into the play mode, and then you're ready to program another preset. 